Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your daily tea and tarot for Friday, October the 16th, 2020. It is mid-month. I will be posting the bonus Zodiac reading for Leo this month. Leo did have the most commented, so Leo did win. Um, I didn't think I had to really explain that because Leo definitely hit over 1.8K views this month, so yay, Leos. Um... Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and hit that like button. Also, um, today is Friday, so it's the day of Venus. It's all about love. Have a good time. Socialize. Get your hair done, nails done, self-care, self-love. Go on a first date with your crush. You know, Just go hang out with your friends. It's, like, it's, it's time to unwind. You know, it's time to let loose after that long week. I hope everyone had an amazing week. I hope everyone had a productive week. I've had an enlightening week. So much has been revealed to me this week that it's just bananas. Everything. Like one after another. Just boom, 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 boom. Spirit is like, let me show you. Let me show you. So, yeah. We all good on that notion, right? Um, let's see what messages we have today from Spirit. While I have the binary beats playing in the background let's go I want to share that message <laughs> somebody um i'm hearing to leave i'm hearing to walk away before you get hurt i'm hearing just don't just just leave don't stay just don't stay just don't stay that's what i keep hearing that's why i'm saying to leave because i'm hearing just don't stay just don't stay unless somebody's name is just don't stay <laughs> it sounds like just don't stay I know I look crazy when I say that because that's what it sounds like. Just to say. Mm, all right. Let's see what we got for today, y'all. Y'all ready for the weekend? Y'all ready? See what energy we got. Those Walmart candles, they suck. I could barely smell it. <laughs> but I wanted a scented candle that smells like fall, like apple pies and stuff. <laughs> I could just make my own, you know, seasonings and burn them, boil them to pot. Anyway, Spirit, any messages for today, Friday? Yes, we got a message already. Seven of Swords reverse. Spirit, any messages for today, Friday, October 16th, 2020, for the day of Venus? More sword energy. Pentacles. Spirit, any messages? Spirit's talking. Spirit's talking. Some ain't going right for somebody. Some is not going right for someone. Mm. Repressed emotions could have a lot to do with why things aren't going right for someone. We'll just put it that way. Because I don't want to elaborate too much on this just yet because it literally is just five cards okay we have the seven of swords we have the five of pentacles reverse i'm sorry seven of swords reverse five of pentacles reverse five of swords will of fortune reverse and the four of cups reverse um i definitely feel like someone could be moving in silence or someone may need to pull back and strategize a little bit better before they move forward that vibe is a little bit stronger i'm also feeling communication needing to be cut or someone needing to cut ties, okay? Yeah, it's cutting ties. It's time to cut ties. I feel like you trust them too much. You trust them way too much. And something tells me you're, you're, you're gaining a sense of self again. Like you're gaining a sense of reality. 
You know, you're gaining a sense of how to move forward. You're tired of this. You know, you're tired of not having what you're looking for. And I feel like you've repressed this. You haven't expressed it. You know, you're keeping it to yourself. That's why I'm saying pull back and move. Move a little bit more strategically. Spirit. Mm. Spirit, please clarify the Seven of Swords reverse. Four of Cups. Here we go again. Mm. Don't tell people what you got coming. Don't tell people about your good things. Don't tell them. I kind of see something good coming towards you. And I see you moving strategically. You know what I'm saying? With this. But for some reason, it's like somebody wants to be a part of it. Like they want to, they want you to open up. They want you to let them know. You got some big changes coming in, though. Especially financially. Like, I feel like this weekend you could probably get, like, maybe some kind of gift from someone. Or maybe, you know, hit a scratch off. Or maybe go to the casino or something like that. But don't tell nobody. Like, that's what I'm telling you. Like, don't tell nobody. Hold on to it, but don't tell nobody. Because I kind of see, like, somebody, like, wanting you to help them or something like that. But you're not really beat for it. You know, that's why it's, like, strategically moving in silence. That's what I see, you know. Spirit, please clarify the five of pentacles. Ace of wands reverse. Spirit, please clarify the five of pentacles reverse. Emperor. Aries energy. Fire energy. Three of hearts. I mean, three of cups. Three of hearts. Ace of cups. All right. So some of you are getting an opportunity for a new beginning. Remember I said in the beginning, it's like you change your, like you're getting a new outlook. Like you're starting to see things differently. You're starting to get a different perspective of wealth. You know, things are starting to come back to you. Things that you may have lost, you know what I'm saying? This is like, this is the weekend for that. Like you're going to see this coming. Like you're going to see things changing. I actually feel like maybe it could be surrounded by a new love, you know? A masculine energy but it's something it's kind of like something that triggers it or something that sets it off unexpectedly like something that brings it in unexpectedly very disciplined very very structured very masculine i'm telling you some of you are getting a man this weekend meeting somebody mm, spirit please clarify the five of swords but this one says something about Cutting ties. There's new love coming. Some of you are dealing with a liar. Some of you have been building with a liar. Some of you are keeping secrets of what you're building. Being very, very silent about it. And I kind of get that a lot. Like, that's what I'm feeling really strongly. Like, because it goes very well with whatever's coming into you. Like, money or some kind of form of good luck is coming, but you need to hold on to it. I feel like it's surrounded by, like, love and someone caring. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's part of their game. You know, I don't know if that's part of their game to maybe get some of your money. Because that Ace of Wands is in reverse. Like, it's almost like it's saying it's, like, a new relationship or a new love is coming in. But the passion ain't there. Like, it's not... That's not it. Like, Spirit, please clarify the... Will of Fortune reverse. Mmm. So yeah, please clarify the Will of Fortune reverse. Mmm. So please clarify the Will of Fortune reverse. Yeah, no. I wouldn't trust them. I'm getting fire energy really strongly here. I wouldn't trust this individual. I wouldn't. I feel sneaky vibes. I'm getting very sneaky energy. Like this person is a part of your downfall. They're stabbing you in the back. Like I kind of feel like you come up with this money or this money comes to you, right? And this person is like, you know, trying to get some. Like they like, let's build something together. Like I'm, this is what I'm feeling. Like they come to you very romantically, but they're lying. Like I promise you, Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, Seven of Swords, liar coming in romantically wanting to build with you. But what's the root of that? Lies. It's telling me, like, you might want to, you know, cut that communication. 
I wouldn't entertain that. I wouldn't entertain that. And then over here, you're getting stabbed in the back. You know, the magician card reverse. Very sneaky vibes. Very mischievous. Spirit, please clarify. Spirit, please clarify the four of cups reverse. Spirit, please clarify the four of cups reverse. Spirit, please clarify the four of cups reverse. Burnt out. Mm. Is that how they're going to leave them? Please clarify the four of cups reverse. Hopeless. I told you. And I say that. Is that how they're going to leave them? They ain't going to talk to you no more neither. After they after they get what they need from you, they ain't even going to talk to you no more. That's the queen of swords reverse. That's the... That's the six of pentacles reverse. You, it's like, you become burnt out about this situation. I feel like they stopped talking to you. I honestly feel like someone could be using you for something you're about to come up on. Yeah, I can't even... I can't even say nothing else. Like, that's really what I see. Somebody is going to try to manipulate you to give them your money or whatever it is that you got coming in. Like, maybe they want to build with you. But they're using you. It's not supposed to benefit the both of you. It's supposed to benefit them. Like, it's not going to benefit you. It's going to leave you drained. It's going to leave you bummed out. Look at that. Ace of Cups. Tower card. It's going to leave you bummed out. You're going to feel picked apart. You got to put it into perspective. The whole situation. Three of Pentacles again. Seven of Swords again. I got this one with Seven of Swords Twice on, on the table already. I'm telling you, somebody lying. Spirit, please confirm the five of pentacles reverse. Spirit, please confirm the five of pentacles reverse. Remember when I was playing a single ball, it said somebody needs to get out. <laughs> somebody needs to leave. Just don't stay. Yeah, I feel that. Hierophant reversed again. Because I got it over here too. Break this tradition. Challenge this. It's not what you think it is. I'm telling you, with the moon card and everything, it's not what it is. It's an illusion. It's a lie. Spirit, please confirm the five of pentacles reverse. Yeah, let it go. Let it end. Don't hold on to this. Don't. Spirit, please clarify and confirm. The Seven of Swords reverse. Please confirm the Seven of Swords reverse. It's the Nine of Pentacles. That's the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Invest in yourself. Whatever you get, that money, that come up you got coming in, whatever it is, use it on yourself. I feel like you know that, though. I don't know why you're going to question it, though. So, yeah, please clarify. The Seven of Swords reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Get your get yourself in order. Don't worry about them. Spirit, please confirm the Five of Swords. Spirit, please confirm the Five of Swords. There goes that star card again. That's that hopeless energy. 
Jail, please confirm the five of swords. Burdens. Like, they don't do nothing but bring trouble and burdens your way. They ain't going to be nothing but a burden. They're going to tell you they want to build with you, but that's not what the case is. I kind of feel like that's what it is, though. Like, you want to build with somebody. This day ain't the one. Spirit, please confirm the will of fortune. Reverse. Spirit, please confirm the will of fortune. Reverse. That two of wands. Reverse, too. I feel like if you looked inward, you would see it. You're not focused on that. You've given too much. You've given too much. It's time for you to get back. Take back what you've given. You've given too much. Like, I just, I feel like this is your gift. Don't give no, don't give nothing to them. This is for you. Don't give nothing to them. Because I feel like you've already given them in the past. Like, you've already done that. And this ain't going to do nothing but way more on your spirit. Spirit, please confirm the four cups reverse. You could lose it. You could lose all your money. I'm telling you. You got the Knight of Pentacles over here coming in. The Knight of Pentacles over here leaving. Like, you're going to lose it all with them. Spirit, please confirm the Four of Cups reverse. Mm, King of Pentacles, Earth, Leo, I'm sorry, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, you're going to be stuck. You're going to get stuck. You're going to get stuck. I can't express this enough to y'all today for whatever this is for. Somebody's trying to get you for some money. They're trying to get you for some loot. Or they're trying to convince you that they want something stable with you that they don't. They're nothing more than a burden on you. That's that's what they, they become. You need to take some time, sit back, and reflect. It feels like you, you're you not... With the hair fin, the hair fin is about tradition, okay? And I said that you need to break this tradition, you need to break it. It's like a curse, like a generational curse. It's like people before you did the same thing. And the people before them did the same thing. It's a generational curse. And if you, you know, allow this to continue, that's what's going to happen. You're going to lose. Like I said, for some of you, this could be about money coming in or this could be about, you know, some form of stability. You know what I'm saying? But for some of you, this is a the, the stability is a relationship. It's not money. So it just, you know, take what resonates with you, the rest, leave it as it may. We're going to get some oracle cards. See if Spirit wants to give us some oracle messages. I was reading up on the messages for these cards basically what i felt they were they are <laughs> like that's you know basically it spirit any oracle messages today for october the 16th 2020 are there any oracle messages to clarify and confirm these cards that we picked today are there any oracle messages creativity we got one Spirit, any more messages for today? Movement and balance. Perception. Spirit, one more message. Two more. Two more messages, please. I get divinity with that creativity, though. Feminine energy. I really do. New beginnings. See, I feel like this is an opportunity for you to move forward. It's like something to do with a father. A kid's father. That masculine energy is strong. Something that you need to let go of. Burden. Didn't I say there's too much for you? Creativity over here with the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Swords reversed. That's about you being creative with how you're going to do this. You shouldn't share no money. You shouldn't share no stability. Like you, your, 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 femi your femininity should be strong here. 
You are you are you're not in a position to take care of anyone. You should be investing in yourself. Okay. Now over here with the five of pentacles reverse, the ace of wands reverse, the emperor, the ace of cups, the hierophant, and the death card reverse, we have movement and balance. Let go. Watch how you're moving. Create that balance. Especially with that masculine energy that I'm picking up on. Are you are you the feminine energy? Or are they the feminine energy? Are you the masculine energy? Something about this situation is 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 not it's not motivated. It's not it's not a good idea. It's not a good opportunity. And then we have Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and a Star card. Message is perception. How you view things. How you perceive things. This is a burden. It's not what you think. You think you're building. You think it's romantic. You think it's love. In reality, you over here, you know, reconciling or trying to reconcile something that you shouldn't be reconciling. Because they're a liar. A cheater, probably. But here they come over here calling, being romantic, charming, and sweet. Let's build. That's not whatever happens. That's It's hopeless. And like I said, burden. Like I said, it's your perception. How are you going to view this? How you view it is what makes the difference. And then over here, with the new beginnings, you're not tired of this wheel of fortune? You're not tired of giving. You haven't reflected enough yet. You're not going to protect your energy. They stabbing you in the back. They hurting you. They lying. They being sneaky, mischievous. They got something up their sleeve. You don't want to break that tradition. You need to challenge it because this ain't what it is. Ain't no luck in that. There's nothing good in that. Nothing. And you know there isn't. But you keep going back. And then over here with the four of cups reversed. Four of Swords reverse, Star card reverse, Knight of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, Knight of Pentacles reverse, and the King of Pentacles. The Oracle says burden. You're going to lose more than you're going to win. You're going to get picked apart. You ain't putting this into perspective. Communications not even honest it's not even truth true truth or trustworthy i told you seven of swords over here they lying hopeless ain't going nowhere you burnt out why are you burnt out because you trusted too much and ain't gonna do nothing but become a burden for you and that is it for today's daily tea and tell for friday october the 16th 2020 Hope you guys enjoyed. If this reading has resonated with you, please leave a comment down below in the comment box. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Um, if, you're looking to, if you're looking for a private, more personal, in-depth reading, you can always email me at theblackcosmicogen at gmail.com. Or if you're looking to purchase a selenite crystal, <laughs> you can hit me up. Um, Facebook and Instagram will also be linked down below so you guys can get in touch with me. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend, and I'll check you guys on Monday. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>